Although the Roman Empire are largely attributed with the invention of countless ingenious inventions, the truth regarding the origin of these innovations, however, may in all possibility be placed far earlier in human history. Many individual researchers, those whom are fortunately not responsible for telling lines of modern paradigm, have long claimed, just as mystery history is often posited, many said developments can in fact be identified at many other, far older ancient ruins many predating that of the Roman Empire by millennia. These repeated earlier discoveries, along with their inexplicably rapid societal advancement, is compelling evidence to support the postulation that, just like that of the ancient Egyptians, the Romans merely adopted lost technologies, along with many ancient architectural wonders, subsequently claiming them as their own, was merely to create an illusionary air of intimidation, which would have surrounded their claimed capabilities. This fitting, if highly controversial hypothesis could undoubtedly explain the ongoing mystery surrounding the remarkable success of the ancient Romans, their empire's longevity, and ultimately, their stagnation and eventual demise. We have in the past explored the astonishing irrigation systems of pre-Incan Peru, along with that of the sewage and water systems of Pompeii, a literal time capsule, long encased in volcanic ash, not rediscovered until very recently. Yet, thanks to this incredible preservation, we were able to identify compelling anomalous features like that of the heavily rutted polygonal roadways. Specifically, we focused upon the elaborate, highly sophisticated sewage system, once placed beneath its still unexplained enigmatic roadways. A system still functional to this day, yet the most compelling of all is its metallurgy the singular characteristic which we feel proves beyond any doubt that such exquisite systems are not the work of the well-studied Roman Empire, but are instead a relic of a far more advanced, far more technologically capable, yet now lost civilization. For although like that of the unexplained Peruvian systems, it is still functional, a testament to the constructor past precision and workmanship, yet most interesting fact is that the pipes which served clean drinking water were all constructed from tin, while those transporting waste were made of lead. The reason why this is a compelling fact is because whoever built this system were fully aware of lead poisoning, yet the apparently more modern systems, presumably copied by Romans, were all made from lead. The reason for this is that at the time of the Roman Empire, lead poisoning was not yet understood. Cloaca Maxima, which translates as the Great Sewer, is yet another of these astonishing relics, actively being dismissed as the work of the Romans. Although its tremendous age is undeniable, and the fact that mainstream academia accepts it as having predated the Roman settlement itself, it is regardless still claimed as the work of the Romans. The Cloaca Maxima sewage system, just like that of Pompeii's and those of Peru, are all still functional to this day. This incredible longevity, we feel, is further proof of its original creator's tremendous capabilities. According to Pliny the Elder, an ancient Roman author and someone who could be perceived as one of the original funded opposition, claimed that the center section is centuries older than the surrounding system, with the entire relic claimed as having predated the empire itself by more than 500 years. Yet Pliny the Elder, who was tasked by Rome to explain the site's origins, claimed to have somehow known the intricate details surrounding who built the Great Sewer. After researching this relic, we have found large volumes of funded research concerning its past function and the claimed construction during the Roman Empire. However, regardless of this claimed tale of events, the fact that this technology, this incredibly advanced structural technique would have been in its infancy at the time it is currently claimed as having been made, yet is still in use today and has not needed any substantial modification for over 2,000 years. How can one explain how a seemingly new technology was utilized and perfected first time during this brief window in world history? The Cloaca Maxima is undoubtedly an incredible ancient relic, one which we find highly compelling.